know about this, right? So have you guys seen all this stuff happening with flipping KSI? It's been absolutely hilarious to watch because I feel like this is like the this is like the this is how do you call it? This might be like justice for him deciding to kind of get on his SJW tip and start flipping riling and dunking on Kevin Samuels when he passed away. Kevin Samuels have his, has his faults. We all know this, but the way that he was going hard on Kevin Samuels, KSI, when he died, I think it's something like a ha-ha, whatever it may be. It was him obviously trying to play up to the, you know, um, to the sentiment that existed on the internet at that time that people hated KSI in general, right? I'm sorry, they hated Kevin Samuels. So um, they thought he was misogynist and all that malarkey. And when he did pass away, there was a really strong contingence, contingency of girls, of women online who were celebrating his death and they were flipping loving it. It was like a Super Bowl for them. Fair enough, isn't it? Cool. But then KSI decided to jump in and get some free flipping clout points by dunking on him as well. And I feel like the ghost of Kevin Samuels has come back to haunt him because now KSI has been involved in this nonsense thing where he was on this British game show we have here. <laughs> and for some reason, he decided to say a racial slur that people used to say back in the day to describe Pakistani people. And um, it was kind of a broad term in general to just, to kind of describe people that are, I guess, South, how do you say, South East, South Asian? Are they South Asia Pacific? I don't know. That region of like Indian and Pakistan, especially from the area of East London I'm from, when people could use that P word, it was usually in regards to just being insulting to anybody that happened to look Sikh, Indian or Pakistani, Bangladeshi, it didn't matter. Just to kind of describe people from that sort of region. And for some reason, um, KSI decided it was a good idea to say that in public and on TV and shit. And clearly it wasn't. And he got absolutely rimmed for it. And the people were going crazy. And now he's gone on this ridiculous apology tour to try and basically rewrite his wrongs. And I legitimately think this is some sort of like comeuppance for the way he went hard on Kevin Samuels. And it just goes to show when you decide to kind of go this kind of weird performative work, because I think personally, I don't think the work thing is bad. I think everybody's everybody should occupy a position that kind of, is congruent to who they are as a person so if you lean more work if you lean more liberal cool if you're more conservative and more uh, you know whatever it may be on the right cool just align with what kind of match up to your personality the thing i hate the most is the grifting thing where you're just kind of playing up to the thing just so you can make some money but i also feel like when you if you do it the sig if you do it the kind of virtual signaling way you're usually going to get end up being burnt because deep down ksi isn't the left-leaning super liberal dude he is the edgy controversial guy that's how he made himself famous on flipping youtube in the first place right saying crazy stuff acting so crazy and sort of kind of flying off the seat of his pants but when you're lying to that side of things and you say stuff that goes a bit crazy people then get mad and then suddenly you have to feel like you have to go over and above to kind of prove to everybody that you're not a monster and now he's on the world tour but this is the clip of him saying the crazy stuff i think on the on that game show this is coach o'shea bro I said ksi apologize for racial slur and plan to take a break from social media <laughs> i think it's hilarious let's see the clip this is a clip of him saying the thing <laughs> i look we need points in it all right i don't i don't, no, mean, no, you, you I don't mean this maliciously but, but the word <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, you can't hear it there, but he did say the P word. It's a bit mad. And then obviously, he decided to release a statement here saying that he's taking a break from the social media. Is this his first apology? He's had like a row of apologies. The first apology I want to apologize for saying a racial slur in a recent Sideman video. There's no excuse. Okay, sorry, it wasn't a TV show, it was a Sideman video that they kind of spoofed of that TV show. My bad, I, re I retract that one. So we continue. There's no excuse. No matter the circumstances, I shouldn't have said it, and I'm sorry. I've always said to my audience, that they shouldn't worship me or put me on a pedestal because i'm human i'm not perfect i'm human <laughs> i'm gonna mess up in life and lately i've been messing up a lot so i decided that i'm gonna take a break from social media for a while <laughs> imagine 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 taking a break from social media because you said a racially insensitive joke insensitive joke sorry this is why you're taking a break from social media and honestly, there's nothing I, heard, I hate more than people who publicly declare that they're taking breaks from social media. 
just take the break don't tell us we don't need to know that you're announcing it and we can timestamp it we don't care go and take the break if you need to take the break but announcing it to people as if it's some sort of achievement is really redacted and every if anything it says more about your lack of self-control your lack of willpower um your lack of life your lack of hobbies and interests that you know if you're not on social media then you may as well not be living that is really sad i know a lot of people are like that but you know if you are like that you probably should try to find some other things that you can fill your life and your time with because spending your whole entire time wrapped up on what's going on on social it's going to get you in trouble the way it did with ksi so you thought that was it right you thought it, it stopped there no it didn't mate it continued we get another apology this time from the whole side men flipping collective personally for me this is kind of hilarious because I'm sure there's a there's probably one guy there that looks like he could be from that region of the world. But the other funny thing is that I've always fucking hated the name Sidemen anyway. I've never watched one bit of their content. Um, I know of this guy here, Bazinga, because his name, you know, kind of it's kind of similar to my surname. That's the only reason why I know of it. KSI I've never liked because I thought he was always a really corny um, type of dude in the first place and it's just not my type of comedy. But the term Sidemen was never really something that kind of resonated with me same thing like hype beast why would you want to proudly you know stand behind the phrase sidemen sidemen is like essentially a derogatory term for like a wingman here in the uk at least i don't know what it must mean in you know in the us and other parts of the world but for us in the uk being a sideman is like legitimately like kind of like khaki in nature a little bit maybe i'm being a little bit extreme but it's not the best compliment so to kind of use that as some sort of flag to kind of fly under never been a fan of it so this is quite for me like um gratifying and a happy place to be because i've never rated these men i think they were always flipping over raid always corny always lame so it's good to see them getting dunked on and people squirming and whatnot life will return back to normal it'll be all well and good in the next couple of weeks everyone forget about this but it's nice to see these guys squirming because they fucking suck it continues um this is our this is an apology from sidemen during yesterday sidemen sunday a racial slur was said during the video we accept that it was completely unacceptable and inexcusable the fact that the incident was made light on of on the show was wrong and compounded the hurt we deeply regret this and would like to truly apologize we have reflected on this incident both collectively and individually and are truly ashamed that we let ourselves and you the guys down in this way we want to use our channels to promote positivity, great entertainment, and we stand against racism and discrimination of any kind, and we fail to do that. Again, we are truly sorry and promise to do better, the sidemen. Yeah, right. You know what's even funnier about it? I'm sure that guy Chunks, who, if I'm not mistaken, is Somalian, he's in the crowd. He's taking part in that game show. And he's from a community of people who you know i'd imagine you know have faced a lot of racial discrimination especially in london with some of the flipping slurs that get flung out there about smiling people so the him to sit there and laugh and giggle about that is hilarious for them to sit there record it and put that video out thinking it's going to be okay in the current climate we're living in is hilarious but again i'm enjoying the squirm i can't lie i'm flipping enjoying the squirm anyway you thought that was the last apology right you thought that was the last apology did you think that was a last apology? No, you are incorrect because there's more apology coming. More apologies for your head top. Look what KSI had to do. They took KSI on a shame tour around all the Pakistani communities so that he could see <laughs> the people that he hurt live and direct. He went to a mosque in Bradford. <laughs> he had to go to a mosque in Bradford on his shame tour. He had to go to a mosque in Bradford. This is what he had to do. This is a caption courtesy of the Shea Bar. Following the recent controversy regarding the racial slur from KSI, he has visited a mosque in Bradford to learn more about Islam and the culture. <laughs> it's a TikTok video of it. Okay, we're not going to play with the sound because it's a madness. This is him in there in the mosque with a do-rag on, <laughs> trying to understand why that word is bad. <laughs> <laughs> honestly he's been taken on a shame tour look look at him standing like you could tell someone that hasn't been used to standing around in places like this 
for a long time because of the way he's standing. He's kind of got his heel resting on the top of his foot, feeling very uncomfortable. But you can tell he doesn't stand too much, right? He's either sitting down, training for his boxing matches and shit, or streaming. But he's rarely standing upright for the longest time. So he's got that weird little pose going on with his feet. Absolutely hilarious. <laughs> but big up the Pakistani community for holding his feet to the fire. You'd love to fucking see it. And anyway, you thought that wasn't enough, right? You thought that was the last apology. You thought that was it. You say, I guess, you know, no more, no mass. I'll give you another apology. One more apology for your head top. One more apology for your head top. He came again. KSI has issued another apology. One more apology for the racial slur he is in Risa Simon. <laughs> it's never stopping. He's going to go on a war tour at this point. This is KSI apologizing once again for this. Um, morning, everyone. Uh Good morning. <laughs> so, I, you know, I want to read a statement which I've written to make sure you know, I express myself as clearly. <laughs> they rent. They rented out a studio for an apology. <laughs> of everything I want to say. Uh, first of all, I want to address uh, uh, a recent incident in a video whereby my actions. I have affected many, many people, especially in the South Asian community. Uh, I want to take this opportunity to offer my deepest and most sincere apologies for my words and actions. In a recent video, I used a <laughs> racial term that is offensive to so, so many especially in the South Asian community. There were no ex excuses for what I said, and I, I recognize I've caused a lot of hurt and disappointment to so many people. Um, yeah, to so many people. Uh, I, of course, I, I realize that my words you know, have consequences. And you know, as a public figure, I have a responsibility to use my platform for good rather than perpetuating discrimination. And this week, I have failed to do this. Privately, I have taken the time to engage in very you know, early conversations with some people from Salvation Communities. <laughs> um, and will continue to do so <sighs> in the coming weeks and months ahead anyway you see the vibes you know what's happening here bloody hell man this is legitimately painful to watch painful to watch because essentially this is just him doing this because you know, I, I can say what I want about Sidemen. I can say what I want about KSI not being a fan of them. But these guys are big deals, right? These guys are incredibly successful, incredibly famous, incredibly rich, incredibly lucrative business opportunities. So you can imagine the pressure that he's facing from people who are on the board of Sidemen, who are investors, who are waiting in the wings for deals and whatnot. There's probably so much money on the line right now this is why he's having to do everything in his power to make sure that he doesn't bring this whole thing tumbling down because unfortunately these little occasions can really have ever kind of kind of have been like kind of the ripples of these kind of consequences can be far reaching basically so he's just trying to kind of make sure the business is looked after but jesus how painful is this it's also funny not to pull that race car type of thing but it is kind of funny to see the different reactions when it comes to if you then end up in the different consequences if you insult certain racial groups certain people certain racial groups are way more protected than others i have a feeling if somebody said the same thing a joke that happened to feature the n-word and they happen to be very white like chicken shop girl white i don't think they'd get this kind of treatment 
I don't think they'd have to go on a flipping tour and be apologizing to people and go to some pan band, some, so, no, some pan still band somewhere in West London and learn about, you know, flipping Lottie Hill Carnival for them to be flipping apologizing for or go to flipping Morley somewhere in flipping South London. You know what I mean? Like, they wouldn't have to do that. They'd have to just kind of, you know, keep their head down. And everyone kind of forget about it. But when you insult certain co communities, especially now, especially considering what they're going to go through in the UK, we're not talking about grooming gangs or this sort of stuff, but you know what, going in the news, you have to be very sensitive. And then suddenly now they kind of rake you over the coals and get you to go on a flipping embarrassing apology tour that you clearly don't want to do because you have to make sure everyone's business is looked after because people's mortgages and but you know private schools and flipping g wagons are on the line that's essentially what's going on here but it's legitimately hilarious so maybe this is a consequence of him coming out so hard against flipping kevin samuels i'm gonna believe that narrative and i'm gonna keep pushing that the ghost of kevin samuels rings around and he has <laughs> reminded <laughs> ksi who is the boss that's what's basically happening here who is the boss um actually let me see this actually one guy in a Cyberman group is actually Asian. I want to see what he said. What did he say? One guy in that Asian, in that group, I think, well, he looks Asian. He could be Middle Eastern or he could be come from some completely other place or maybe African, who knows? But let's see what he said. This is a guy called Vicstar. I don't know who he is, but, but this guy called Vicstar. His statement is as follows. Following our group statement, I want to make a personal apology to everyone hurt by my reaction to the comments made in last week's Cyberman video. So he's apologizing for laughing. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Shame. Oh. As a South Asian, I fell short of my responsibility to ensure this racial slur. Um, that sadly, um, I'm all too familiar with. It's not tolerated, not trivialized. This is a mistake I won't ever make again. I'll try my best never to laugh again when someone calls me the P word or says it in the jest come on brother man how embarrassing is this god almighty how embarrassing like literally <laughs> oh they got Kevin Sai to go to a mosque in Bradford he probably has no idea what I'm going Kevin Sai probably walked into that mosque with his shoes on he had no idea he had to take his shoes off like oh sorry <laughs> <laughs> oh I fucking love it man hilarious oh well that's what you get in it that's what you bloody get man <laughs> oh I'm sorry but that stuff makes me laugh so much I love to see it I really do love to see it so moving on from that moving on um what do you guys have to say about this